So we're about to start up the fridge. Uh, once your fridge gets delivered, please wait at least three hours before turning it on because you do need to let those gases settle, okay? Because it can cause you some issues. So just to make sure as a safety thing that you do not turn those fridges on um, for at least three hours minimum. Okay, so turning it on, this is uh, quite an easy process, is you simply put your finger in the middle, see one, two, three lines at the top, and the fridge will come on. So what we need to do is set our language. So we're going to set it um, for English, obviously. Right, so we're going to set the time and date. It's really important they get the date and time really correct because um, it's, it, it's really essential. Okay, so when you're doing the date, it'll come up. So it says 2020. You simply swipe it to 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, we're going to set that. So we're setting the month at April. Um, and then the date is the 18th. So sweep right across to the 18th. Now we're going to do time, and it goes in 24 hour time. So it is, at the moment, 9.57. So now that's set, and it's coming up as the ambient temperature in the fridge. All right, so that will start kicking now, and that will slowly start to come down in temperature. We have a new LED light going down the side of the fridge. If there is an alarm, or an issue with an alarm or someone's had the fridge door open for too long, that light will flash. So in other times people will just ignore the alarms going on. This will flash until someone fixes the alarm. It will also come up on the screen as a big red symbol saying an alarm. So whether it's a temperature alarm or whether it's a door alarm. Okay, so you'll know what's going on with those with the fridges. Yeah, okay, so there we go. So touching from in max, you simply touch the temperature and it'll tell you what the fridge min, uh, max is, minimum and maximum is, okay? So it's gonna be a maximum because it's 25 degrees, it's ambient temperature. So once it comes down, it should be sitting around about five degrees, okay? So most people have to do a min max check, I think it's two or three times a day. So all they will have to do is actually touch the screen and it comes up. So it's touch and swipe. Okay, and then they read it from there and it's saying zero hours recording because we've only just turned it on. So it does it for hours. They're supposed to reset that as well every afternoon or once they've done their min-max. Okay, once that's done, we don't lose that data. Okay, so that data is then restored at the back of the fridge where you've got that five years worth of information. Okay, we never lose the data. Okay, so we're gonna touch it, we've got the min-max, and if we want to reset it, we push it again and we press reset. And I'll say hold the screen for three seconds to reset the temperature. One, two, three. You'll see the lights at the top. That is now reset. That's all they have to do. Nothing else. The other thing that we might want to check is the set temperature. Um, I think this is really important because a lot of people are changing it. Please don't change the set temperature. The set temperature must be five degrees unless otherwise stated or told by a Libre technician. Okay. So we're going to go into our settings and temperature. So that's telling you that the set temp is at five degrees. Okay. So just for um, everyone, that's what it needs to stay at. So try not to touch that one. All right. So then everything, every time you finish with it, it'll normally, unless it's got a return or re, a return arrow, it will automatically come back to the, what the temperature is now. Okay? Perfect. And that's pretty much all they need to do with the fridge. So you don't need to, just, if you want to check the set temp, go into the temperatures in the settings and then just press on it and it'll tell you what the actual set temp is. It must be five degrees. Not four, not three, five degrees. And it comes standard. It comes standard. All factory, they're all factory set to five degrees. Perfect. Okay? If you're ever turning the fridge off, it must be turned off at the controller first before turning it off at the wall, because uh, we'll get people coming back and go, oh, I turned it off and moved it, and it's come up with this alarm and it's not working, and because it's an alarm saying that there's been a power failure, because it doesn't see that you've turned it off, you haven't turned it off at the, the fridge itself, you turned it off at the wall, representing a power failure. Okay, so then you'll have to reset the alarm. Okay.